Question number 15, part A. State the use of the eyepiece lens in a compound microscope. So the, the eyepiece is, act as a magnifying glass. So one, it acts as a magnifying glass. A glass. That is, it magnifies the, uh, the item or the object being viewed through the compound microscope. Uh, the, the other one is it produces a magnifying virtual image. A magnified virtual image. Virtual image. Formed by formed by the objective lens. Formed by the objective lens. So that is how you answer that. If you put any one any any of the two, you should be able to get one mark. Part B on the grid provided. Draw a ray diagram to show how a convex lens forms a magnified rear image uh, so what we do is uh, we can uh, draw two axes here or it, it can just uh, or you can just use a uh, use use it like that so we put our point here uh, so we put the focal uh, this is uh, we say this is the focal focus uh, focal point and uh, this is the center of curvature uh, the same on the other side we have the uh, focal point and we have the center of curvature uh, we use this symbol to represent uh, to represent uh, a convex uh, lens then uh, we are going to put our image our image in between the center of curvature and uh, center of curvature and the and the focal point so what we do now is uh, we draw the rays to show uh, what will happen so you draw the first ray let's use a different color uh, this is uh, so the first ray will pass through the focal point on the other side because this is a convex mirror so it is uh, diverted but the other one will pass through there through the the focal point then we have the the other ray passing through the the focal point the focal point so that is our ray and therefore we should have our we, we have our image formed there so that is a, a magnified image magnified means uh, the size of the image is bigger than the the object that is the uh, the image formed is bigger than the size of the image so that's why you get you do that and you should be able to get three marks totaling to four marks this is uh, part c question number 15 we are told figure 10 shows a defect of vision in hum in a human eye so we have this a human eye this is the eyeball so this is the, the object we have rays passing through the the lens then you can see the image is formed behind the retina so that person cannot be able to see uh, the the object clearly uh, the image is supposed to be formed at the retina uh, so roman number one state the type of defect shown the type of defect is uh, wrong sightedness wrong sight or we can call it hypermetro hy hypermetropia hypermetropia another name for wrong sightedness uh, roman number two state the type of lens that can be used to correct this defect so the type of lens is a uh, at a lens that will be able to converge these rays so that they form behind the retina and the type of lens is converging lens 
uh, then part three on the diagram uh, on the on the same figure draw lays to show how the uh, the lens in 15 roman number c roman number two corrects the defect so what you do is uh, you draw you draw a lens so mine i'll just uh, have it here so this is the lens i uh, can make it a bit bigger like that uh, so once i have my lens then uh, you say our, our let's say this is where we have our image uh, so our object will be extended there so what will happen is uh, we have now the rays here we have another lay uh, which they will be projected to to the which will be now after after the the image is corrected then we have uh, now the image being formed behind the retina so this is where we have the image uh, of formed so now the person will be able to see the object clearly because the converging lens so this is a converging lens so that's how you answer that and you get two marks so that's how you do that question Part D of question number 15, we are told figure 11 shows a graph of image distance V against the object distance U obtained in an experiment to determine the focal length of a concave mirror. So we have our figure uh, 11. Uh, so this is the image distance denoted on the Y axis uh, V and this is the uh this is the uh, object distance denoted so you can see we have a graph here that has been plotted uh normal number one identify and mark a point x on the on the graph where u is equals to v so if you look at uh, our graph here uh we can see at 20 this is when v is equals to u so this is where you put your uh, that is why you put your mark x that is max x uh, then we have roman number two use point x to determine the radius of curvature so radius of curvature uh, it means that the object at c uh, center of curvature object at c uh, forms image forms an image forms an image I at C at C uh, hence uh, U is equals to V is equals to R okay object at C forms an image at I uh, so we have uh, u is equals to v is equals to r the image distance is equals to the object distance is equals to image di uh, distance is equals to the radius of curvature roman number part two we have the focal length f that is the focal length is equals to r the radius of curvature you divide by two and uh, the radius of curvature is 20 where the image distance equals to the object distance so here we have 20 centimeter you divide by 2 and that should give you uh, 10 centimeter and you get one mark so that's how you answer that uh, question and that concludes question 15